Good day everyone. At this time I bring you a very important video. Many of you might have seen that the Concord has ruled that Jacob Zuma has to be incarcerated for 15 months for not appearing in court. So this is not because he was found guilty of anything, he has not been uh, tried and actually charged with anything specifically. There's only accusations against him and now he is going to be in prison for 15 months for contempt of court and he was not given a chance to appeal now this means quite a lot of things the first thing you need to understand is the timing with regards to this lockdown two weeks where no one is allowed to gather this was the main focus and in my uh, video to the members i will go into a lot more detail but just understand one simple thing Jacob Zuma is very happy to go to jail. He has absolutely no problem doing that because he knows that when that happens, it's going to set things in motion that's going to change the history, history of this country forever. And his family all know, they're all prepared for this, and they know exactly what is going to go down. He has set things out that will be revealed in time now that will shock the nation. And we will be a part of that fight because he's been fighting this new world order being created in the country for some time. And for that, the mainstream media was turned against him. All the new world order powers, the people trying to implement the new world order ideologies, they uh, threw him under the bus. And he's far more intelligent than they can ever imagine. He was head of Mkonto um, um, he was the intelligence chief and he understands intelligence better than most of these stupid politicians, especially someone such as Cyril Ramaphosa, who made a complete fool of himself the other day. And it's going to be interesting to see how this plays out at this stage, seeing that he wasn't given a chance to appeal in the Concord. But you can take it further than that. You can take it to the African court, the African Union, and then other countries and other countries' leaders will get involved, especially on the continent of Africa. So you need to think about... The broader picture because remember the fight that we're fighting now is against a global enemy anyone getting stuck on local politics you don't see the bigger picture you actually don't understand what happened with the arms deal the fact that intelligence was involved there no one has any idea unless they were actually deeply involved in what happened at the time what went down and I can tell you something none of these billions that Jacob Zuma has so-called stolen is anywhere in any of his bank accounts because he hasn't got the money. He didn't steal any of it. And this is why he will never be found guilty. And this is why Tuli Maroncella very quickly said that she's very sad that he was found guilty of contempt of court and that he has to go to jail. She knows what this means. And a lot of people are going to start panicking now. So this is going to become absolutely fascinating. And I will keep you updated as this develops and like I said in my video on Cyril Ramaphosa's speech, I will put that out before the meeting tonight. You will get the details around what all of this means on the ground. I can tell you there's a massive police presence all over Gauteng at the moment. They are waiting for any riots to break out. They are actually waiting outside informal settlements, which tells me one simple thing. That they are expecting people to rise up because of... The sentence that was passed today and it'll show you we have no real constitutional court at the moment our constitution is a farce we don't have a democracy we don't have uh, a country with borders our borders are open at this stage we, d we have nothing to defend ourselves with we are on our own and the sooner you join the resistance on the ground where we mm -hmm. teach ourselves to become better citizens the better and i really invite all of you to come to the meeting tonight we've opened it up now i'll be opening it up to 500 people uh, the emails are streaming in all the time i don't know what size we'll get to but it's already a very large gathering of people and i look forward to that meeting tonight thank you so much for watching this video if, if you have not subscribed please subscribe and click the bell icon to get notifications for new videos thank you very much till the next video